Understanding how birds navigate has fascinated scientists for generations, and we finally cracked that old egg. Turns out they have quantum compasses in their eyes. Easy peasy. Half of all bird species migrate to find food as the seasons turn cold. The exact pathway and location changes between species, but they all follow a more or less north-south pattern. And incredibly, even for birds that hunt on land, they will take the most direct route, even if that means flying over big bodies of water. They do this to conserve energy, but how do these birds know where to go? They don't know to follow roads or turn at that one landmark. Also, do you even know what a landmark is? Bird, you're a bird. But birds do have one advantage, a built-in compass. New evidence from two separate studies, one looking at zebra finches and the other at European robins, found that some migrating birds have proteins in their eyes that give them a sort of sixth sense, allowing them to detect the Earth's magnetic field. In both species, the researchers studied the proteins Cry1, Cry2, and Cry4, three proteins called cryptochromes that are associated with their body's internal circadian clocks. They found that Cry1 and Cry2 levels rise and fall in regular cycles throughout the day, normal. But the level of Cry4 is constant. The simplest explanation is that birds need to produce this protein all the time for some reason. So they looked more closely at Cry4. This protein is a peculiar one. It's clustered in a part of the bird's retina that's especially sensitive to blue light, and the protein is made from a kind of molecule that sometimes has, say, an odd number of electrons. The scientists theorize that as incoming light enters the eye, a photon hits the cryptochrome protein, and that excites the electrons on it. The energy is then transferred between two molecules within the protein, yielding two free electrons that are quantum entangled and therefore correlated. They theorize the electron spin forms a coherent quantum state that reacts to a weak external magnetic field, say, for example, the Earth's magnetic field. Basically, if they're right, these two electrons are reacting to the bird flying through Earth's magnetic field. As the bird turns or moves, the electrons spin differently, causing different messages to be sent to the bird's brain. The chemical signals that are sent to the brain allow it to detect the magnetic field, again, if they're right, to within just five degrees. The Cry4 protein essentially acts like a magnetic compass. And enough blue light does hit the retina to trigger the electron spin to release the chemical at any time of day. And this is kind of crazy if you think about it. When we humans study quantum particles, it requires super cooling atoms that are very specific in a lab environment and complex machinery. The inside of a bird's eye is warm, wet, and chaotic. So how could they make quantum entangled particles like this? How the heck does this work? We don't actually know. We also don't know how the chemical signal part of the compass sends messages to the brain or how the birds would perceive the magnetic field. We'd need a literal bird's eye view to fill in these final pieces of the puzzle. More research is obviously needed. Another thing research is needed on is climate change. Climate change is also a puzzle, which is why you should watch Hot Mess. This episode looks at how long we've known about climate change, and it is way longer than you think. If you care about our planet, if you care about climate change, and you want to learn more about it, absolutely watch Hot Mess. It's a great show from our friends over at PBS Digital Studios. I think you'll love it. Thanks a lot for watching Seeker. We'll see you next time.